<laughs> Crystal, you had a question. I, I don't have a list, um, but I need to know, do I need to be more needy, more demure? Because I'm pretty independent. I mean, I enjoy dirt bike riding and camping and going and hiking. And <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know how to be needy for a guy. If I'm with you, it's because I want you. Well, yeah. here's what she, I wrote down something you said that I thought was really significant. She says that she can't find a nice guy who wants to keep her because the men in her hometown only want women who treat them badly, are high drama, are high maintenance, and throw hissy fits <laughs> and constantly complain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Basic. you're saying Welcome that <laughs> because, you're, because you're low drama, low maintenance, and don't throw oh, fits... I, I don't throw fits. I've never, I've never asked a man to buy me anything, ever. I've never, ever actually even had a man ever buy me anything. So I, I wouldn't know, how do you go into a mall and go shopping and say, honey, I want that $500 purse. If I wanted it, I'd buy it. If you want to buy it for me, sure, but I shouldn't have to tell, buy, how do you ask somebody that? Buy me that coach bag. I don't know how to do that. So what's your question? Obviously, I don't. I think maybe I'm not needy enough because I see these <clears throat> girls literally throw hissy fits, and, and I hear girls all the time saying they basically what I would consider acted like a two year old through a tantrum. Okay. And, well, and me, I don't do that. Uh, well, let me let me say something that I think might be not right in your thinking because, and this is really important for men. Men think that a need is a weakness, and it is not a weakness to have a need for someone, and I'm not talking about a materialistic need, I'm talking about to need companionship, to need somebody's approval mm -hmm. and support. Uh, you know, you and I are both in the public eye, mm -hmm. but it's really important that the women in our lives, our wives, are proud of who we are and what we do. Would you agree? Absolutely. More so than all the audiences out there. <laughs> Anybody. If your wife is proud of you, then, then that makes you feel good, and that's a need, and, and I don't think it's a weakness to say that I, I want my wife, I want my family to be proud of me. Absolutely. That's a need. It's okay to be needy in a healthy way, but that, that's not a weakness on your part to say, I don't need, I don't have needs, and so do I need to become more needy? No, you just need to acknowledge if there are things that you want to be part of your life that you don't have yeah. right now. Okay. I just, I, men just basically confuse me. I'm really, ever since I moved to L.A., I'm just like, okay, they, they talk they text during dates, they're on cell phones during dates. They, I'm like, really? I mean, where, you where tell them I'm, I'm gonna go dirt bike riding this weekend. Where, where are you from that you came to LA from? Uh, I've been back east for almost 14 years. So. Where, a small town? Oh no, like DC, New York. Oh, okay. So I mean. Well, they got cell phones in DC. Yeah, but I've never, I actually had the first dating experience, two, two bangers right off the road. The guy looked nothing like his picture. He must've took that picture like 10 years ago. And then he's on the cell phone the entire time. And I'm not, I, I wasn't going to be rude and just be like, I'm leaving. So I sat there, but it's like, really? Yeah, but see, that's, you know what? You, you, you got to have some standards about yourself. Oh, Why I would you, you shouldn't sit through a date with a guy that's going to be talking on the phone. Okay. Get up well, and leave, I mean, go I home. Said... You're not enjoying yourself. Okay. Get up and go home. Okay. You know, okay. this woman right here, I, when we're at dinner, mm -hmm. when we're at lunch, and my phone rings, she just looks at me. Because this is her time. Okay. I got to cut it off or just not ignore it. When she, when she goes to get in the car, she goes and stands by her door. Because mm -hmm. I have to come around and open her door. Oh, yeah. When we get out, out the car in the parking lot, Absolutely. she sits in the car until I come around and open the door. Yeah. Now, I've been stupid before. I've got out the car and was walking to the door of the restaurant and went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> because she sits there. Yeah. Because that's her standards and requirements. So set the expectations. And she just never, yeah. I, you, okay. you just got to make them yeah, and you stick to them. You teach people how to treat you. And, well, and, I, and I, I try. I've always said, I've been in a restaurant next to people that are on their cell phone the whole time or texting, and I really want to go over there and say, excuse me, but if you need to talk to whoever's on that fel cell phone so bad, you should leave and go have dinner with them, and yeah. this person can just join us. Yeah. <laughs> 